Right, we are back with another crazy experiment. I know you love the experiments. So this here is just some dish soap. Now I was playing around again with the, the resin in water. Uh, many of you have seen the resin in the oil where we got these really awesome pieces with texture on the front. Now with the water it's just not dense enough. The resin is kind of just floating and spreading on the surface now i'm hoping that with something a bit more dense like a liquid soap a dish soap will work better now i think if you who hasn't got dish soap but it doesn't matter on the brands it shouldn't matter at all the only difference you're going to have is the thickness of the liquid but try different things just be very very careful when you are experimenting because you don't want to mix the wrong things with the wrong things so i'm going to begin just by seeing how the resin reacts in the dish soap is it going to float is it going to sink what's it going to do and it is slowly beginning to sink into that dish soap but then can we cure it let's try curing it now actually to see what happens Okay, that's had about 30 seconds under the lamp. Has it cured? I'm using my tweezers to pick it up. We've got like a droplet form, which is quite interesting. Can you see that? That is crazy. <laughs> right, let me clean that up. So there it is cleaned up, it's fully cured. If that had a longer tail, that would look like a Prince Rupert's drop, which is made out of glass, which I could try and get on a different video. Oh, and it's gone. I'm surprised I found that. <laughs> so now we know that works, I'm gonna commit myself and hope that they, the piece, the small droplets actually bond and stick together. Or I might add an initial layer of loose kind of beads and then add another layer that bonds them together. So I pretty much filled this up probably a bit too much. I'm just going to repeat what I just did in the test run and just apply some of my UV resin to the soap and cure it before it sinks which should give us an even better depth than the oil version, I'm hoping. So, cure and go. So I've cured it and they're still kind of floating on the surface, which is quite interesting. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep going with the first layer of just loose beads. And then we'll be back for the next stage, I think. So I've applied quite a few. It's not taking too long and you can see some of them are still floating. So I'm just going to assist them <laughs> and drop them down and sit them kind of next to each other so that they're flush with the mould, which should give us a really cool effect, almost like a druzy effect, I think. And then any gaps, I'm just going to fill in and do the same. So as I'm going, I'm just moving them and kind of fitting them in to create almost a shell building up the sides and then I can they're moving together actually and then I can apply and let them sink and touch the others and hopefully they'll all stick together okay so now we have our shell built up around the edge so it's deeper in the center I'm now just going to repeat the process but I'm gonna let the resin sink and touch the other blobs i could do these bigger what i'm hoping is that these are really going to refract the backing that i put on afterwards similar to the oil video i'm just going to let these sink and then cure hopefully they will bond but i'm expecting one or two beads to come loose obviously because this is the first time i've tried it we'll see what happens just going to cover the back completely and then just give it a few minutes to do what I want it to do if it does they may just float 
Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. It really doesn't take that long either. And as they're sinking, I'm just going above them also. So they're kind of all working their way down together. And they'll group up when they hit the hardened beads. So I'm now just going to cure that and then any floaters I'll <laughs> floaters. I'll push down and just repeat until my mold is pretty full. As always, massive shout out to my channel members, anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks, and to all the new subscribers to our channel. Don't forget to hit that button, it is free. And you can see I put too much dish so dish 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 soap. <laughs> In there so I'm just going to use this empty needle tip bottle hopefully if I squeeze the bottle and then release it should suck up all of that excess into the bottle and it's not working so I'm going to do it the other way I'm just going to take this out and then try and do it after once it's all dried off Look at that. <laughs> so we've got an absolutely incredible, and they're really shiny. And it's kept its heart form shape. Could have done with a bit more, I think. But we're going to clean this up and then finish it off. Look at that. That is crazy. Almost reminds me of corn. So there it is cleaned up. I just need to make sure it's fully drier for the next stage. There's some bits that I'm not overly happy with, but we can sand that down and maybe fill in some of the little gaps just to make it a bit more uniformed. So all I'm going to do is just build in, build up, build in, fill in, whatever you want to call it. Just any kind of areas like that and then cure as I go, just to even it out and, and make it a bit better. And that is much better already. I found just running the nib of the UV resin around the outer edge and cure it in sections worked really, really well. So now for the backing, I'm going to go with this rainbow nail powder. I've used it before in previous videos. Really wish I'd number these pots so that I can tell you which pot it is, but it looks like a just a grey. But then we're just going to brush that over the pack. Again, make sure it's fully dry before you do this. So again, just brush on the powder and cover the whole back. So I'm hoping that colour sparkles through. I don't know, I'm not going to look. So I'm just going to seal that in, we'll bring it flat with clear and then I'm going to judge it if I'm going to have to look because I'm not sure whether I'm going to need to dust it again or finalise it with a black coat. So I'm just going to fill it in with clear for the moment and just bring it in, make sure it doesn't run over the edges down the front of the piece. So you can see some of the colours coming through but not enough for what I wanted. So I'm going to give it another brush and another coat. So I've given that the extra coat to make it flush on the back as well. I mean, it is an experiment. I'm, I'm not overly happy with it. And the colours are just showing through. But again, it's another idea. Resin in dish soap. <laughs> I'm going to try again um, with some different colour. Okay, so I just did the same thing, but exactly the same way, but I used this colour. It's like a greeny into purple. And I kind of let the blob sink a bit further into the um, mould this time. But look at this colour. That is crazy. As always, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment if you haven't subbed. Hit that button for me. The colours that are coming through on this one are absolutely phenomenal. Again, exactly the same way. I just dusted the back with this different powder. So experiment with different colours, different timings of dropping, 
and see what you get. Right, another crazy one. <laughs> see you for the next one. Bye for now.